For this new season, the 2024 USL Championship season, I've started adding in a new training method that I've never done in any of my previous seasons. This new training tool I'm doing in addition to my team training, my gym workouts, the fitness, my individual work, the film, the tactical analysis on top of everything. And the goal with this new training tool, just like anything else, is to develop into a better player and improve my performances on the pitch. So what is this new training tool? Well, it's Be Your Best. It's a football training app in virtual reality, which is also the sponsor of today's video. I've been interested in Be Your Best for a while after seeing a few clips around social media, but I really became interested in it when I've seen Champions League level players like Odegaard and Chuameni training with this tool. Be Your Best was developed to improve players' cognitive performance and game intelligence by helping players train their scanning, vision, awareness, and decision making. Be Your Best has two main training modes. You have scenarios and match play. Scenarios allows users to train through professional game scenarios through the perspective of one player, whereas match play replicates the experience of a real life game, giving users complete control over their actions and their decisions. For this video, I'm gonna throw on my Quest 3 headset. And I'm gonna go through some of these scenarios and show you what it looks like to train using Be Your Best. So let's do it. All right, here we go. You can never really look cool in one of these things. So just give me the benefit of the doubt here. Okay, so now we are in Be Your Best locker room right now. Um, we'll just hop right into the uh, scenario training. I think that's my, been my favorite thing so far. Hop into this, this, hop into career mode and just go for it. I'm already division three. I've been doing this a little bit. I think you started like division eight or something. So I've been playing like an hour, two hours a week just to kind of get a feel for it practice it and I've already noticed that the scanning kind of translates to the field a little bit which is really cool because a lot of times especially when you're playing in your own position like a right back you're constantly looking for your winger for your forward and when you go into training it's almost like you know it's ingrained into your brain to do that but anyway these are the targets for all the stuff that we want to hit I really really have a hard time with awareness and critical scan. Critical scan is that little tiny scan that you do right when that ball's coming to you because they zip in all these passes in this thing. And awareness is remembering who's on your team and who's on the opposing team. And they make everybody blank, which is really hard. But everything else I've been doing pretty well at. So let's just hop into it. I'll try to explain my thought process as best I can, but you really do have to be locked in for this. All right, so. Immediately will show you the opposing goals down there. That's my teammate. Looks like I'm playing left center back right now. So I'm gonna just open up and look wide. Ball's coming into my, oh, all the way out to the left back. And this is where I struggle with. I think that's the opposing player. I'm gonna say that's my teammate. I think that's their player. Oh, almost. Okay, so as this ball's on this side now, I'm just checking out my shoulder, going out wide to my right back. So now I'm playing the center. It looks like the six. Maybe, no, wait, a 10. I was gonna come to me. Oh, and then switch it. Okay, I'm playing as a striker now. assist oh goalkeeper all right don't judge me on the goalkeeping here we go as this ball's on the right side you're just constantly looking out to the opposite side usually for the most part so as this comes down now the left side i'm just looking at my right side plays into me six is checking as this forward cuts off that pass okay striker again in a low block Gets it. Yep. Go on. Go through. Right back. You selfish. All right. Let's see. Session results. Oh, I hit everything. Outstanding job. There we go. BYB IQ 461. Scan rate is 0. 0.6, which is pretty good. That's the target where that line is. So I did a lot more scanning than I need to. Scan timing was really good. Critical scan, just a barely above it. Still need to work on that one. Awareness and decision is all good. I'm happy about that, really happy. All right, let's try another uh, career mode session. I'm trying to get up to division one here. I'll show you one more and then uh, 
we'll go over my stats again and give you my overall thoughts. Okay. So it is cool to kind of be in the stadium and look up at the stars and stuff on the field. But anyway, playing center back right now. I should be looking at my right back with three guys. Right back has the ball. I'll be looking over here. So it's like if the ball were to come to me, where would I go with my next pass? Right here. Right back, this is my, hopefully my bread and butter out here. It'd be really bad if I got a really bad score at playing right back. But here, I'm just looking at how much time and space I have to whip it across. Yeah, send it in. Look at this guy. Good run. Nice. Okay, right back again. A right mid, maybe. Ball's coming out. As that mid has it, I'm just checking over my shoulder. Plays me in. Top of the box. Yes! Good. Striker now. All right. Don't judge me off my striker performance. Again, I'll just be looking at where the pressure is coming from. Drive. Good. Don't judge me. I'm swinging it. Swing. And then I'm getting the box. Go. In the box. Nice. We're scoring goals. Go. Okay, left center back. I'm looking at my left back right now. This ball comes all the way out to the right back. Still, when this ball's on this far side, I, I want to always look at that far side. I have no idea what you are, my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. See, that's the one I always struggle with. Look at my left mid. Yeah. Then. Good. Step up. Good action. Let's see how we did. Very good, 439, outstanding job. Nice, scan rate 0.6, that's one of the higher scan rates I've had, that's good. Scan timing is good again, decision making almost 100%, that's like the highest decision making I think I've done. Awareness is good, critical scan is, that's always low. That little final check, but you can see how they're zipping in the ball, but that final check, just when that ball is being played to you, as it's rolling to you, do a quick little check is something I, I definitely, as you can see, need to work on just from this, which is, it's cool, it's cool to point out. Um, but that will be the, uh, the, the stuff I'll show you in here, but not bad. You can look at each even position, center back, no critical scan, right wing has my best score, which is good because I play as a right wing, right fullback. That's really good. No critical scan, no critical scan. So when you're here too, you can even see the, the replays. So like I can go to, um, let's do right fullback. Let's see the critical scan here. Why I missed it. Gives you a bird's eye perspective. So I'm over here, let's move over here. Okay, so you can even see as the ball's being played. Look, as the ball's being played, this is a good example of that. When the ball's in motion, you can look away because you can't get received that ball or you can't get played that ball. But as soon as he takes a touch and drives and looks, picks up his head, I should be looking at the ball. So hopefully I turn my head as number four here takes that touch. Perfect. <laughs> That's really good. That's actually exactly what you want. Now here, quick little glance. I'm looking to my center mid who's popping into this pocket as that ball's going into him. Quick glance up the field. Good, another glance. Another glance. Ball goes out wide to me. And I think I made the best decision here, to be honest. Top of the box. I think with this, like, you're going over this decision. I think this guy's marked. I mean, maybe I could play right here for him. But I think top of the box is the obvious play. That works out. Nice. Very cool. So if you guys enjoyed that demo, as you can see, there's a lot of different categories. Um, you have scan rate. Scan rate is how many times you scan per second, the 10 seconds before you receive the ball. Scan timing is the ratio of good scans compared to the total number of scans.
Critical scan is the number of scans that you do as that ball is moving towards you. Um, it's definitely very, very important as a center mid. As a right back, as you have a little bit more time and space on the ball and you're kind of just looking here, it's not as important, which is probably why I'm not very good at it, but uh, still something I want to work on, you know, because you're not always going to be on the line with tons of space because sometimes you do do that inverted fullback action and you kind of really are playing like a center mid, especially. And with the modern fullbacks now, you're receiving the ball a lot in the center of the field. And so that's something that you can just see from this app is pointing out to me that I need to work on. Um, and I will be working on it with this. Decision making just ranks the action that you make when you receive the ball. So if that pass is a good pass, if you run into the defender, if you make a bad pass, it ranks that. And finally, awareness just determines how well you retain information. So when they ask you, is this player a blue or red player? That tries to see if you're understanding where your teammates are and where the opposing team is. So overall, I think it really is a really, really great tool to work on your scanning, vision, and decision-making. I really think that if you go about it with the right mindset and you try to put yourself in the shoes of the player in that position and you focus and ask yourself, what would I really be doing? What are my tendencies? And am I doing enough? Am I not doing enough? Am I making the right decisions? I think it can be a really great tool to showing you with black and white numbers how you're scanning your decision-making and your vision is. My absolute favorite thing is the scanning though, because I think that's one of the biggest things and I think a lot of players need to work on it. It's so easy just to have blinders on and just be focused on the ball, focused on the ball, and this forces you to constantly be doing that scan, and if you don't do it, it shows you when you're not doing it. Like I said, I've been doing Be Your Best about an hour, two hours a week, nothing crazy, but just a little top up after all of my team trainings, my gym workouts, the fitness, my own tactical analysis, the team film, all of the stuff that we do as professional footballers, this is just like that extra cherry on top of all that. And I absolutely love it because most things that you do as a professional footballer are very physical, they're demanding, it's taxing on your body. This is not, I mean, I am standing on my own two feet right now, but it's not like it's gonna be tiring before tomorrow's game or tomorrow's training or anything like that. So if you guys want to start improving your scanning and game intelligence, then download Be Your Best today. All you need is a MetaQuest 2 or Quest 3 headset and a Be Your Best subscription. And if you use my discount code ELITE20, you get 20% off your first month or a year. Just visit beyourbest.com or click the link in my description to get signed up. And again, be sure to use my discount code ELITE20 for 20% off. And be sure to keep an eye out for part two, where I show you how I've improved by using Be Your Best, both in the actual game itself to show you how hopefully I'm climbing up the divisions, I'm getting better and better scores, my critical scan is improving and improving, and as well as my firsthand experience of just how it feels on the field after using Be Your Best for an hour, two hours every single week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again to Be Your Best for sponsoring it. Peace.